Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and uh, this is a very, very important uh, message I'm sharing with you tonight. Uh, it is an open letter that uh, I have written to the Five Docs. It is on um, our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. I strongly encourage you to go to this website and read this article. Share it everywhere you possibly can. And when we say an open letter to the five docs, we are talking about exactly the uh, very rumble channel called critical thinking. Now, they say Kerry Medea is one of those five docs that are listed on here. But uh, as we know, Kerry Medea relinquished her medical license. And she did it because, uh, according to the Georgia Medical Board, they were requesting her presence for questioning, for giving a uh, what was deemed by the pathologist, Dr. Schultz, to be a uh, lethal dose of peroxide uh, IV, 21 milliliters of peroxide IV, uh, to my father-in-law. So this has been... Uh, a forensic pathologist has uh, done an actual autopsy. It has been determined a homicide. And uh, so the evidence that we have been saying all along that 21 mils of peroxide was indeed uh, given to him by uh, Kerry Madej. And it has been proven. We actually, of course, when we submitted the case, it was all she was also found liable in a civil case. And now we are looking at the criminal aspects of this as well. And uh, everything's a challenge right now. Everything is a challenge, but it is clearly, even by the DA, they admit that according to the autopsy, this is uh, a homicide. And uh, so we have written an open letter mainly because we have reached out to Dr. Sherry Timpany already. Uh, she has uh, spoken to us via a Skype message on, on uh, quite a bit of information we exchanged on this subject here. But these doctors continued to promote her. And sadly, uh, the truth of what really happened is not being discussed. My father-in-law, you see pictured here, if you click on this letter here, we have hyperlinked a lot of information in here for you to be able to also follow up. Uh, you have in these doctors here, including uh, not only Dr. Sherry Timpany, but Dr. Uh, Lee Merritt, Dr. Palaveski, and Dr. Christine Northrup. Uh, Dr. Christine Northrup, as we mentioned in this article right here, we actually show the video where we preserved it ourselves, where Carrie Madej actually comes in two months before coming to our house. And in this video, uh, Carrie Madej, it uh, shares with uh, Dr. Northrup what her protocol for peroxide IV therapy would be. And in this video, she only talks about five to six meals but yet then comes to our house uh, two months later and does more than four times the dosage. Reminds me of Sherry Timpany uh, when she wrote me uh, about this in Skype and she said, you know, there's a saying, the poison is the dose, uh, the poison is in the dosage. And she said 21 cc's of peroxide, 3% peroxide is a poison. That was Sherry Timpany's very remarks about Carrie's uh, protocol. Of course, you know, there is some that are, you know, Carrie goes around trying to tell everybody that, no, it's all false. It's just false propaganda against her. But yet a court of law has already found her uh, responsible. A pathologist has already determined that what was given to him was lethal and, uh, and the evidence was definitely present in a, in a uh, forensic autopsy. Uh, we have more information in this article as well that you can just click and go to. Also, like falsely claiming the 911 responders demanding her COVID status. Uh, my wife actually went there and met the, the head of that department and the very ladies that did the uh, the call itself, Christian women that were just very 
uh, deeply saddened by the fact that they were being accused of asking her for something that they never did. We got a copy of the transcript as well. Nowhere in there did they ever ask Carrie that. So we're finding over and over and over, even meeting with her boyfriend that was the pilot of the crash, he also says, it's just not true what she's saying. Uh, he doesn't understand why she went that route. So we have two video links there. You can click on, go right there, and you can find out more information. But listen, the actions that Carrie Madej did, someone that we had considered to be a friend, that, that not only the, that she, you know, her actions clearly, according to the pathologist, contributed to the death of my father-in-law, but also injured my wife, has caused enormous pain and suffering for our family. Uh, here we are two years later, and my wife, my, my children, no one has gotten rest from the, the, the trauma that has been associated with this. Uh, and then watching him die in such agony, not just the intravenous peroxide, but also a nebulization formula that one doctor that I know that actually d did use nebulizing peroxide said that her formula was 80 times stronger than what he used himself, 80 times. Uh, and he is both an MD and a naturopathic doctor out of Orlando, Florida, that stated that to me when he found out. In fact, when he first heard about this, uh, I just the nebulization formula that was used, he said, it's a death blow to your father-in-law. He said, Steve, I know, you know, of course, he, and he was right, he knew my father-in-law very well, very personally. He really had a love for him. And, uh, and it was a tragedy for him to hear that this had been done to him. Uh, so we want you to, to read this article. Uh, you can leave a comment. Uh, you can also uh, you can email us at IsraeliNewsLive at ProtonMail.com. We're asking for the five docs to take this seriously. We're asking you, Dr. Christiane Northup, uh, we're asking all of these doctors that are that are part of this here, um, you know, uh, Dr. Northrup, Dr. P uh, Palavatsky, and Dr. Merritt, uh, and even Dr. Timpany. We're asking you to again, once again, contact us. We want to discuss this matter with you. Uh, you know, we're going now. My wife is just really. Uh, you know, talking to the attorney and everything, uh, more than one attorney that is, you know, she's got every right to be able to speak about these things publicly. And uh, so we are going to begin to release information. Uh, and, and there's a lot of momentum being gained on this. You'll be very surprised to learn in the not so distant future. So, you know, please take the time, contact us because this is just absolutely horrible, what has happened to our family. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're listening to Israeli News Live. Your support, too, by the way, could really help right now. Um, you know, we've, en we've encountered enormous cost in this as well uh, in trying to get this justice, get this attention brought, uh, brought to, to, to the public's uh, light there. And, uh, you know, the autopsy, now we're dealing with some other things there. I, don't, I can't really say at this time what they are, uh, but it's just more evidence, stronger evidence uh, that is being conducted as we speak right now, and it's becoming overwhelming. So please reach out to us. We, we, we appreciate you, our viewers. Also, too, the other day when I released that video that I did, there's a very big reason behind that. You're going to find out about that very soon, too, uh, why that was there. And I thank you for stepping up and answering uh, like you did uh, on this flat earth issue. We greatly appreciate that. Uh, just overwhelming response from you guys. And uh, tomorrow I'll be getting back, uh, getting you caught up on the news, things of that nature that are going on around the world. Very tragic situation over in Israel. The the hostages, six of them being killed 
we'll be covering that uh, very uh, very soon as well. I'm actually kind of holding off because I've reached out to some people I know in Israel to try to get a little bit better handle on what actually happened there. So anyway, Stephen Benin with Israeli News Live. Our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. Right above your head, our mailing address as well, Stephen Benin, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee, 37872. God bless you and thank you for your help and concern here.